Hi guys, let's create this bubble effect in Procreate Dreams today. Let's go. Create a new file, choose square from the templates, set frames per second to 12, duration to 1.0, and click draw. First, let's create a circle. I choose a blue color. To make the circle perfect, I use the hard blend brush. You can adjust the thickness to make the circle the right size. Then I just put a dot on the canvas. Sometimes it doesn't work the first time, okay? Now switch to default mode. To do this, click again on the active mode icon. And you can also adjust the size of the circle. For perfect centering, hold the screen with your finger. Okay, now hold the frame and choose full duration. Now move on to creating bubbles. I choose a bright color and the studio pen brush. On the new track, start drawing ovals. Place them randomly, going beyond the circle. Great. Now duplicate this frame and move it to a new track. In default mode, move it diagonally down. This was a try-on, so you can delete this frame. Let's move on to the first frame. Here, let's add a fill to the ovals. And then round off their junctions. You can also adjust the shape of the ovals where it seems uneven. Well, now duplicate our layer again and move it diagonally down. And then make another copy. Next, we need to apply full duration to all three frames. Switch to Timeline Edit Mode and group these three tracks into a group. What's next? Duplicate the group and place it so that the first frame is the last. Apply Move and Scale to the main group. Set a key point on the last frame. Now we need to move the ovals so that they match our background from the duplicated group. To make the animation loop, we need to move this key point outside our animation. Now we hold down on the track with key points and select Set All Easings, Linear. Let's look at the preview. OK, this looks weird for now. Now we need to work with masks. Move the group with ovals closer to the circle. Apply mask, clipping mask. And now let's look at the preview again. OK, we have a looped animation, but we're moving on. Let's add cutouts at the intersections with the circle outline. To do this, I create a new track inside the group and draw roundings on each frame. Look at the preview. OK, now let's change mask to layer mask. And apply inverse there. Let's see what we got. Our ovals were cut out of the main shape of the circle. Super. I take the soft brush and a slightly darker color. And on the new track, I draw the darkening. Then apply the full duration and group this track together with the circle. OK, don't forget to drag the group with the ovals closer to the circle. Preview. Now you can add a back layer similar to this one. To make it even easier, you can duplicate the existing groups. Here we redraw the darkening to lightening.
and then you can move the ovals a little and also reduce the number of duplicates from 3 to 2. Thus, the speed of movement will also decrease. Ok guys, this is the animation we got. Let me know if you found it useful or interesting. I'm waiting for you in the next videos. Thanks for watching.